Hello everybody, this is SoyaChinchao.com and today we're taking a look at the Sony Xperia S. Alright, so this is officially the first uh, Sony Android smartphone. As you know, uh, Sony Ericsson doesn't exist anymore. Sony bought all the shares from Sony Ericsson and uh, it's now all Sony. Uh, this is also the first new device for 2012 for this year. This device was first unveiled at CES in January. We got our hands on uh, of the Xperia S in Shanghai also in January and and less than a month, uh, well a bit over a month, well within a month we already have a review unit right here in Malaysia. So you, you can expect this device to be available um, in stores within a couple of weeks of this review or probably less than a month. So it's, it's going to be available in the market pretty soon. Alright, so let's get into the unboxing of this device. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the box itself. This is a pretty unconventional uh, packaging, but uh, it's nothing special. It looks it looks like a toy actually, but then again, you know, um, the box is is probably nothing. This is you don't judge a smartphone by by its box. So let's get into the unboxing right away. All right. So in terms of packaging, yeah, it's nothing special. But let's look look at what you have inside. Again, uh, in terms of presentation, pretty simple. Um, but yeah, let's see what you get. And voila, here you go. This is the device itself. This is the Sony Xperia S. Uh, we'll talk about the device a little later. Let's get right into the box. Okay. So what do you get? Uh, with the Sony Xperia S, you get a two-prong, uh, two-prong um, USB charger. Right. Okay. So we said, we said, we've said it numerous times. We don't really like two-prong chargers, but yeah, can't do anything about that. I'm just trying to look at the voltage. I think this is a one, 1.5. Somewhere on there, I can't see. We'll probably put it in the notes uh, or in annotations later. Other than that, you get your standard Sony Ericsson uh, micro USB cable, which is all good because of this corner thing. Uh, and then also you get a Sony um, earphones with microphone. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Well, this says Sony Ericsson, but you know, because manufacturing, they had to produce this earlier than the branding, the brand change, so that's uh, okay. Other than that, uh, documentation, uh, pretty standard stuff actually. Uh, you get all your uh, startup guide, which is in English, and your radiation uh, information, and more important information than radiation. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, what, what you don't get in the box is a HDMI cable. In some countries you do get HDMI, but in this country you don't. So you know if you're gonna plug your phone to a HD TV, you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna need to buy a separate cable for that. All right, so let's get right into the phone itself. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the Sony Xperia S. And you know, seeing it in the flesh, this is this is a really nice phone. Uh, look at that 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 this bar, this transparent bar. It's really good looking. It lights up, so we'll sh we'll talk about that a little later. Let's just talk about the specs of the Sony Eric uh, Sony Xperia S. All right, at the front you get a four point three inch clear uh, reality display. Uh, it also has a mobile driver engine uh, built into it, so this is that's going to enhance your uh, colors and your contrast and things like that. That's proprietary to Sony. Uh, in terms of the specifications for the screen, so this four point three inch screen pushes out. 1280 by 720 pixels uh, that is around 342 uh, ppi pixels per inch in terms of uh, pixel density so this is currently in the market the highest the highest pixel density screen uh, the highest resolution screen in the market uh, right now well soon to be launched in the market in Malaysia uh, in comparison to the iPhone uh, 4S uh, that pushes 326 ppi so this is way higher um, other than that, at the front you get a 1.3 megapixel camera. Uh, this one, uh, what's unique about this? Well, it's not really unique because the 
Galaxy Nexus and the Motorola, Motorola Razr can do this as well. This uh, you can shoot 720p so uh, 720p videos with the 1.3 uh, megapixel front camera. Okay, at the side you get a micro HDMI, but you don't get a cable. So you if to fully utilize it, you need to get separate cable. Um, and then also a dedicated camera button. So obviously Sony is Sony is designing this, this uh, device to be a, a shooter camera phone. Uh, so this one has a the Xperia S has a smart cap, uh, fast capture feature. So with fast capture, what that means is that by just pressing and holding down on this button from from the device being on standby, meaning being on sleep mode, it's switched on but the screen is switched off. You press this and in under two seconds, uh, you can take a picture. So in under two seconds, from sleep to a picture. So we we will demonstrate that a little uh, later. Okay, other than that, you also get a, this is standard micro USB slot here. So the, the slot covers are finicky, but I guess it's good to have them, the dust covers. So this is micro SD, uh, micro USB, sorry. Uh, speaking of micro SD, uh, the Sony Xperia S doesn't have uh, memory expansion, so you, it it comes with twenty two gig uh, memory built in, but and that's it. You cannot expand it with a, a micro SD card. Okay, or at the top you get a power button and this very beautifully designed three point five millimeter headphone jack. This is really nice. Okay, uh, also at the back. Is this removable backplate cover? This remo removable cover, but the thing is, you can't remove the battery. Speaking of the battery, the Xperia S has a uh, 1,750 milliamp hour battery. That's roughly the s that's exactly the same as the Galaxy Nexus in terms of size. Um, again, we mentioned there's no uh, micro SD card slot. Also, what's interesting is that it uses micro SIM. So probably going to see more and more devices using micro SIM this year. But yeah. And the big deal about the Xperia S is, of course, the the 12.1 uh, megapixel camera at the back. So this is currently the largest camera you can get uh, on an Android smartphone uh, in the Malaysian market. In Japan, of course, you get bigger uh, phones with bigger cameras, but this is uh, the camera with the highest pixel count, 12.1 megapixel. All right, uh, LED flash, uh, speaker, and uh, secondary microphone. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna switch. To, I'm gonna just rip this off and switch the phone on to let you have a look at the um, startup sequence. So here we go. It's a Sony. You can see that lights up as well. So the startup sequence is new as well. If you're used to uh, Sony Ericsson phones, uh, you can see that this is a new startup sequence. Quite uh, initial startup is quite long. Yep. Oh, check out the light. That's pretty zen-ish. Let's see that again. It's pretty nice, and it's transparent. Okay. So th this is this is rather odd. I'm not sure why. It's taking this long to start up. It's still starting up. Which is weird.
Okay, uh, we're not sure why it's doing that. Right, so that's that's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This is this was the unboxing of the Sony Xperia S. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Uh, uh, but we'll take a look at the startup sequence again a little later. So, um, wrapping up. Uh, this is SorryChangeOnTech.com and that was the first look and the unboxing of the Sony Xperia S. A really weird uh, why the phone didn't want to start up but we'll take a look at that a little later. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Uh, thanks very much for liking the video. Thanks very much for subscribing to our channel. And catch you guys later.